uh, first time we're using this here system, um, but we want to put cover crop into this here. We want to have a low disturbance and uh, I want to have it all ready for spring so we don't have to work the land. It really saves a lot of time in spring and it's only great for the soil. We have a lead coulter in front. Um, that coulter acts as, as our depth wheel. So it has a depth wheel on it and we have a hydraulic, what we call our hydroflex. So we can, uh, we can adjust the uh, pitch of the shank which is followed up by closer disc. That lead coulter is gonna go in eight to nine inches deep um, with that unit running level, now remember we can, we can adjust the pitch of it, but with it running level, the shank is running about an inch and a half to two inches above the bottom of the disc. What we're, what we're doing with that is allowing a little bit of tillage deeper than our injection point, um, but also, yeah, our injection point there, we're running about two inches shallower than the shank also. So we're putting the manure in at roughly four to five inches deep, you know, allowing it to penetrate down. This year, I noticed in, in the springtime, our corn always turned yellow after it popped out of the ground. I think having the manure up a little higher, not so deep into the ground, I think their corn got the nitrogen and, and the nutrients a little quicker. We're on 24 inch centers here. My opinion, the big benefit about 24 inch centers versus being closer, you know, we leave you know, undisturbed dirt. So if we're, if we're out in that field and we have to make turnarounds or if we have to cross over, we're gonna hopefully not run up that field as much. It dries up a little bit. I'm gonna just level it lightly with a field cultivator just to smooth it in a little bit. Then I'm gonna airflow seed it. And then uh, next spring, I don't think I'll need any forage for, for spring forage, but uh, I can terminate it. I've got options. I can, I'll have a nice smooth bed if I have to take for forage if the hay dies or I can just terminate out and no-till corn right into it immediately. A lot of people may question about nitrogen streaking and nutrient streaking. Um, from what we're seeing, this unit, we're not seeing that as much as old traditional um, shank type toolbars were. And my opinion with that, we're not creating a lift with this shank. Um, we have played around with experimental points that have created lift and that creates a cavity that allows that manure to run down the hill and also creates a little compaction layer. These shanks on this toolbar are the newest shanks that we, with Zimmerman, came out with this spring. And we're creating a lot more crumbling in that zone. Um, as you walk out here, you'll see it's not big chunks. We're not lifting, we're, we're fracturing. Um, and the big benefit with that is that dirt is gonna settle back down. Um, in this field, two, three days from now, these, these little ridges that we're building that's not much are gonna settle back down and we can go and air seed over this, run it with a VT till, you know, very light disturbance and get this level ready for cover crop to go back down or ready for seeding.